Alright guys, uh, it's Dr. Damien Pegrins from AfricanPianoLessons.com So today I'll be showing you uh, a couple of things I'm trying to put together uh, Basically I'm planning to set up like a small home studio, you know, just to do a couple of things I know a lot of you guys have been asking me these questions How do you program your beats, what keyboards do you recommend for what or what, you know, just so many questions like that and i'll be you know show you how you can set up uh you know within like reasonable budgets the things you need and how you can achieve you know the maximum output particularly looking at african sounds you know afro beats the gospel uh i mean i've used afro beat, you know anything related to african beats really and uh, so let me show you let's see what we've got inside this box as i'm very very excited actually so let's go on So excited, you know. Uh, let's get this. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I can't wait. Excellent. Um, so normally when get rid of this, so when it comes to um, studio, uh, basically you know I'll probably I think about five key things you need really. The first one is your computer, which you know basically used to to record. Uh, you need a computer. You need the software to use uh, upcoming videos out. Talk on some of my favorite softwares that I use in taking up ideas. You need your microphone uh, kit, which includes microphone uh, reflection filter, and just to get rid of it. Especially if you're recording in a room, you know, such as having like a studio where there can be lots of um, acoustics. And uh, you need earphone, earphone um, for for you obviously to be able to listen back. And you also need a MIDI controller, like a keyboard or a small, you know, any MIDI controller you can use really. So, um, so I decided to uh, go for something budget, you know, something to take ideas of. So I've got in here, uh, nice, let's check this out actually. So I've got this headphone. So basically, you know, this is from Gear for Music uh, HP 210 Studio headphone, um, and I'm excited. So in the next coming weeks, I'll be, you know, giving you a review of why I feel, uh, you know, how these headphones have kind of like uh, perform. Because it's very nice, you know, studied and uh, yeah, you can see that we can use the cut a lot of um, noise really so that's really good that's really good that's really good so when I have this headphone on you know like the, uh, the, the way my voice sounds is completely different so we have the headphone I'll take this back here I'll put this on the floor and yes XLR cable um, to connect the sound card and also you know the, the critical parameter is the sound card of the XLR cable. I also thought I'll try um, uh, this new microphone. This is called Sub Zero. Uh, so I've got this particular SZC300 and it's meant to be a condenser microphone, large diaphragm. You know if you um, need to uh, uh, you know take you know, uh, a wide range of vocals this might be a good one uh, so let's see what we have in there yeah that you know looks really nice from the way it's been uh, uh, 
made up really it's got like a very nice body to it that's nice you can see it's zero so i'll be trying this out as well So we've also got in here, uh, let's open this up, oh nice, so I've got Scarlett Focusrite 4i4. Uh, you know, it's the third generation 4 in 4 out USB audio interface, and basically that's really good. You know, we African Sams, we you know, sometimes take a lot of say percussions and rallies, talking drums, and drum sets to go in. Then you take vocals, and with four inputs, I think that's you know, more than enough for uh, a, a little bit of a small studio setup in house, uh, and that should be you know, really, really good. I can't wait to use this use some of the old old, old ones um to start, try this new one for a small studio i'm trying to sell and then what we have in it yes so i've got the se so this is another um microphone uh x one s studio bundle that's from uh, uh se company and um you know if you've used the x1 uh, which was the uh, older uh, version of this microphone it seems to be really good so i can't wait you know to try this out and that contains um you know, in, inside this we've got uh the uh reflection filter uh the, the microphone and um it's got like this two switchable attenuation levels as well which you can use to provide very nice dynamic range uh, especially if you you're looking out in african percussion stopping drums you know there are quite a lot of those things that uh, we uh, use for african sound so basically i'll be trying this uh, with the sub-zero uh, microphone uh, you know to pick up a couple of sounds and i'll test that against sure mic as well and the road, you know, the popular road, uh, the NT1 and NT2A. Uh, so I'll be trying you know, a couple of mics to see which one would be ideal for uh, the environment. Now, I'm trying to set this one up. So, uh, for all the setup, you know, roughly it's less than uh, 500 pounds. So, and I think that's a reasonable budget. And next time we'll talk about the um softwares to use and now to couple all this up. so stay blessed for now if you have any question please let me know and i look forward to welcoming you into the world of african studio recording bye for now